this week on the Roommates Podcast. So yeah, I feel like you can't you can't let society, you can't let family, you can't let friends really control who you are because you, we have one life. Yeah, and do what makes you feel good for real, like. Yeah. Because it's a lot of stuff that can take away our happiness, and we don't need those things to take out take away our happiness. I feel like we're like I'm learning that. I think you already knew like knew that, um, and because we said it's a lot of darkness in this world, a lot of stuff that's going to come, and we have to be ready and we have to be prepared for um, to really be the leaders that we're called to be. Yo, what's good, America? It's your boy, Hafiz. Hey, what's good, bro? And... <laughs> oh, my God. And... Ah. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> and... Uh, Chris, the star of the show, is back. The star is back. Man. And welcome to the Roommates Podcast, a late night mm-hmm. conversation, taking you behind the scenes of becoming, featuring all the interesting people, perspectives, and conversations you experience on the way. Also... also uh, Known as the best hour of your week where you are. Entertain like a stand-up. Educate like a TED Talk and... Enlighten like a sermon. The star is back, baby! It feels good. Yo. I'm back in my element. Yo. Man. Yo. Bearded Chris, man. (laughs) Bro. Bearded Chris. It's been crazy, bro. It's been a crazy past, what, four weeks I've been going? Jesus Christ. Yeah. I guess I should inform the listeners. Go ahead. Um, Fans... Of the podcast, especially the day one fans, day one new fans, uh, man, life has hit me hard, mm. um, and I feel like with the with the decision, like LeBron, <laughs> um, in what was it March, April, my dad had asked me to come work for him, and I knew it was coming eventually. And didn't know it was going to be this soon. But yeah. I knew it was coming. Yeah, that's a good thing. My dad has his own <laughs> business. And, you know, it's really good. But. But. Chicken butts. Chicken butts. Big butts. The business is all the way in Indiana. Mm. Indianapolis, Indiana. Indiana. Yeah. It's not a, not a black people there. Yeah, we're in Houston, guys. We're in Houston, Texas. Yeah. <laughs> so, you do the math. <laughs> it's really tough. <laughs> Um, we definitely could have did the podcast via audio, yeah. But since we made the transition to YouTube, mm-hmm. it's kind of hard to do a podcast when you know you have one person sitting there looking at a camera by himself, listening to the other person that's not there as well. So that's why it's been really. Um, that's why I kind of had my absence because the move was it wasn't sudden, but it came up really quick. Um, I felt it was just really. A lot of stuff was happening. My sister was getting married and stuff, and um, just didn't have time to put some like some inventory in. So that's why I've been missing out of action. But but you have been holding it down. I've been trying, man. <laughs> now, like honestly, I like, I didn't really like understand because I'm gonna be honest. In Indiana, it's a lot less distractions. Yeah, yeah, yeah a yeah. lot less distractions. Yeah, and. Um, it gave me the opportunity to really just think about my life and where my life is heading. And, uh, and I realized that, like, just what you have done in the, the my absence and even just before then with the podcast, it has been nothing short of amazing. Thank you. I'm serious. No, I'm serious, bro. I'm really, what we've uh, done, man. What we've I'm, done. I'm, yeah. But I'm just saying, like, I just know just, like, you know, the work you put in. Um, and I can see... You know the stuff we talked about, even like a year ago around this time. Yeah. When even with the, we had that uh, episode with Brandon and Aaron on, I think it was literally around this time, right after Harvey and after uh, the John Gray mm-hmm. uh, recording, and to see where we have came in a year when we made that decision, like all right, let's take it up to another level, mm-hmm. is is incredible. And uh, I know that you. Have definitely been just just killing it, man. I really have, and <laughs> the opportunity that we have, um, like no matter the distance, no matter the you know the un unforeseen events, like this podcast is gonna keep going. Yeah. Um, if you're in it, I'm in it, 
And bro, I love you for that, bro. Like for real. Uh-huh. Like you like yeah. you really been holding it down, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. And guys, if you are listening to the podcast via SoundCloud, via Apple Podcasts, yep. via Stitcher Radio, remember, here we go. the podcast is available on YouTube. So if you would like to see Chris's handsome face and his brand new I ain't going to lie to you, man. It's like, <laughs> listen, 2019 is going to be, it's going to be dangerous. 2019. Dangerous, I'm excited about it. I've been this. working out a lot. I lost, bro, I'm not going to tell you. I lost probably like 10 pounds. You lost 10 pounds? Easily. That's crazy. Easily. In four weeks. Wow. Three weeks, really. Wow. Like... I had like a 36 size belt and I'm all the way on the last one and that's too big. Mm. Like, it's ridiculous. Congratulations. <sighs> Feel good. <man. laughs> Feel good. But taking more pictures. So so guys, go ahead. If you want to see Chris's beautiful face, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> follow Chris on Instagram at Belo. What's it? Belo underscore underscore. Like four underscores, or you can just type in Belo. I should pop up now. Yeah, just type in now, Belo. Yeah. I should just pop up. <laughs> this lighting right now is ridiculous. It's like, ridiculous. I don't know. It's, it's, it's really crazy. Head. And remember, it's a YouTube.com slash The Roommates Podcast. It is YouTube.com slash The Roommates Podcast. Oh, we're official, official. Subscribe. Yeah, we got our own name and everything. Yeah, in September, we wouldn't like that. Yeah, we not, Last time I was on the podcast, <laughs> we didn't have that. So, guys, make sure you subscribe. And remember, if you're watching this podcast on YouTube and you want to go ahead and head to work, if you're about to go drive, if you're about to do something in which you can't sit down and watch something, the mm. podcast is available on SoundCloud, yep. Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, and these MR efforts at Spotify are going to put us on their What's Spotify platform. talking about? They tripping? It is tripping, bro. I'm about to, I'm about Let to me email them. Huh? Man, let me email them. I'm going to tell you the email they sent back to me. What they say? We not, you know it was me? like... Uh, Thanks for sending this email. Nobody's checking this email address. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking D-bags. Oh, my God. You got to be on button up when you want on Spotify. No, man. F Spotify. But, dang. Please put us on. <laughs> <laughs> on that note. On that note. Man, what's been going on? What's new? What's, mm. what's life? Besides the beard. <laughs> I know, man. The, the listeners, man. They've been missing you. Um, What's What's new? I had at least five people tell me where is the star of the show. Wow, for real? Yeah. Just five? Well, I'm just messing with that. Okay. It's like, a lot of five. <laughs> a lot of five. <laughs> no, <Nah>, um... <laughs> just five. What's new? I know, right? <laughs> what's new? I think what's really new is like, as far as like professional was, as like with my dad owning the business. Yeah. It's really cool to see just like, you know, employees, you know, wearing his t-shirt, mm. you know, seeing UAB... Like, you know... What's that mean? Utility asset buyers. I thought it was, I thought it was United Airlines of Bilo. <laughs> <laughs> Swing and a miss. <laughs> I tried, I tried, I tried. Um, so, yeah, just seeing that gave me, like, a sense of pride, you know? Mm. Um, and I just know the sacrifices that he had made for me. And, you know, as his only son, I know I can at least go up there and try... You know, it's completely different what I was doing. It's a lot of labor work. Yeah. Um, hard hat, boots, jeans, mm-hmm. early morning, long hours, yeah. work, work, work. Yeah. Um, but I know I'm I'm helping him out. Yeah. And I know that he really enjoys me being there and I can see my impact already uh, awesome. on the company. So it's just like really just seeing that and how I can understand why why people that want to be entrepreneurs have that vision because it's nothing like that. Yeah. It's nothing like driving a, tr- a company truck. Yeah. You know, <laughs> having a company credit card. Yeah, you yeah. know, telling people what to do. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. like people, they. I, it's my first time in my life. Yeah. Well, my ass has been kissed. <laughs> like, oh my god. I like, like ass kissing. Oh my god. I'm the, like, I'm the boss son. So they yeah. look at me like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. they take care of me. <laughs> you know, they take care of me. Like, it's ridiculous. Like. Um, so it's just, it's just like a new, just a whole new world for me just mm. being up there and really having, you know, cause I mean, like I can sit back and look and really just learn as a worker. But at the same time, it's just like, man, I can see where, you know, how my dad leadership styles is and how I can come in and, and help out. So that's really what's new in that aspect. Also, man, also. moving up there, I lost a lot of things here. And I didn't realize what I had here until I went up there. Um, everything I wanted in life for a 24 year old, I, I felt like I had. In Houston? In Houston, easily. Yeah. I had the money, yeah. I had the place, I had the car, I had the relationships, I had the friends, I had the professional life, you know, I had the podcast. Like, I had really had no reason to complain. Yeah. Um, and when I went up there, not saying I lost all those things, but 
it was just like, man, dang, I don't have my own place. Mm. You know, I do not have a car up here. Like, my time is majority at work and that's it. Um, I don't have any close friends. You know, it's just like all the stuff that gave me happiness and value is kind of just gone. You know, the podcast is no longer easily accessible anymore. Yeah. So it's just like, you know, all the stuff that I want to talk about is like, who do I talk to? It's like, I'm, yeah. you know, I'm, the podcast is not here for me to really just vent and talk about whatever. Uh, but the crazy thing is like, I feel like I've been asking God for more dependence yeah. on him mm-hmm. and leaving everything just like that verse says you um, in the what, John somewhere. It, in John? <laughs> it should be in John. What verse? I don't know what verse you're talking oh, about. Oh, you're talking um, you have to you have to leave your A mother, mother, father, father yeah, your yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and it's become, an synopsis. Yeah, it's all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I really didn't really understand that verse until I made that move. Hmm. And it's like now, because I'm such a futuristic person. Yeah. Like, I always think about, like, you know, my professional goals, you know, personal goals and things. But, like, my professional life, I don't know exactly. Am I called to take over the business? Am I called to do the podcast? Am I called to do something else? Yeah. Um. So, um, it's like I'm taking it day by day. And I just, like, I want to control something. I want the answers. I want to be able to, like, I'm doing this and that's what it is, is what it is. But I I don't have that right now. So it's really, you know, I'm in a tough spot because I want God to, you know, knock a window out so I can be like, man, I'm all in here because I know that's where he wants me to be. Uh, Rather than like, you know, I don't like my greatest fear is missing out, you know, my destiny on this earth. Like, God, just show me, please. Like, why are you doing this to me? (laughs) You know, so um, so that's one aspect I'm just kind of just still wrestling with um, as well. Uh, My sister got married. Congratulations. What's your last name now? Henshaw. Henshaw. Yes. Yeah, so That's she's Nigerian no longer... last name? Yes. Henshaw? Yes. Interesting. Yes. Rowan and Christina Henshaw. Wow. Shout out Shout out to them. Is, did she hyphen there or did she just do the... She should have. Oh, you feel Because, I mean, you went from Bigo to Henshaw. <laughs> <laughs> I no, mean, no, I mean, you know disrespect, Rowan, my man. You know, so, brother-in-law. What are, you, what are your thoughts on the last name changing? I would... If, I, if, if a woman was going to marry me, she would have to have my last name. What if she... No. <laughs> Don't disrespect Bigo. Like Bigo sounds so much better than a lot of names. Bioku. <laughs> but no, but what what if she was a famous celebrity at whatever she is? She's famous and she's well known, whatever mm. she is. So the name Am has, I famous as well? Yeah, but her oh, name Bigo. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> but her name has like brand equity in her opinion. You talking about like Kim Kardashian West? Yeah. No, I guess more so I was thinking about this. Somebody made a great point. And I don't like talking about people, but like Megan Good. I'm like, if we saw a movie starring Megan Franklin, you'd be like, I'm not gonna watch that. Who's that? Mm-hmm. Right? It it loses the alert yeah. because of the that name. That makes sense. Like, so is it Megan Good, Franklin? I don't know what it is. I think it's still making good. Yeah, I think it is still making good as well. Mm, so that's well. What, I mean, I see that. Would you? Would you consider that? I, uh, <laughs> but I feel like my last name is so unique, though. It is. You know what I mean? It is. Franklin. Eh. <laughs> no disrespect. You know what I mean? But yeah. uh, now I can see that point. But uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> so it's an honor. It's a privilege. <laughs> you know? Not everybody has his name. Yeah. Like, it's a cool last name. Ah, thank you. <laughs> like, it really is. Yeah, like yeah, I, yeah. I take a lot of pride in that. Like, I, I, I realized when my sister was having her wedding, like I wanted like a giant like bingo sign somewhere like in my wedding. Like mm. just just it's just there. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Was yeah. the wedding fun? I mean fun, yeah, fun for others. Oh yeah. I mean, I was I, I felt like it was just a lot of work for me. Yeah. Um, so but I mean, I had the great honor and privilege to actually officiate the way they marry you know? Congratulations. So that was um, a unique experience. That I didn't really wasn't nervous for it until I opened my mouth. Really? And it, ooh, <laughs> boy, it hit me. <laughs> Legs started shaking. I started <laughs> trimp- stumbling over words. You thought I was an amateur. Like, it was ridiculous. I'm glad you wasn't there. Like, it was, like, it was ridiculous. I'd be, just be like, what? like, what's up with this guy? Oh, <laughs> uh, so, but, no, it was really good, man. It was really good. Um... Like, it, like I said, it really still hasn't hit me yet because I feel like it was just so much work. But knowing that I got up there, you know, 
shared the gospel mm-hmm. and then, you know, tell them about their marriage and how it's supposed to represent that and kind of gave me a better understanding of what marriage is supposed to look like. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was just really cool for me to uh, to really do that and give that. And she asked me, so that was even, yeah. you know, more of an honor. So, um, yeah, I mean, the wedding was fun. I did a lot of work, um, you know. I just got off work, basically, because I just got back from the wedding, technically. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, what, what what's up with you though? Don't don't st- <laughs> <laughs> don't start this out, What's up, man? Just stabilizing my life right now, trying to take the show mm-hmm. to the next level. Mm-hmm. That's that's been the biggest thing for me. Mm-hmm. I've gotten some things stabilized. I'm really really excited about that. Some things that I was like, oh my, I'm talking about last month. It was living off of breadcrumbs and yeah. manna. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like it was. Gosh, it was so rough. It you was... said a word on a podcast one time. I was like, this man here. <laughs> what word? <laughs> read too much. I forgot what it was. It was an SAT word. I was just like, this fam. <laughs> I was like, this boy read too much. No. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so that 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 was really rough for me. That season was rough. But man, for anybody who's just now tuned into the podcast, I just want you guys to go back from like January mm. and just start and if you've if you've are new, just go back and re-listen to it. The beautiful part about our podcast is it's like a movie. It's like a yeah, life story. It is. It really is. And you see how you follow us. Yeah, you follow how our lives change. And and the cool thing about our podcast is you get to see some of the stuff we implement into our lives. Mm-hmm. And then you see seven months later how it how it affects our lives. Yeah, today. yeah, yeah. The biggest thing that happened this year that changed my life is positivity. Yeah. And I've been getting on you for that. You have. You've been on my ass. You really <laughs> because have. Because I, I understand where you come from. It's like, I don't want to be let down. You know, I don't want to yeah, be yeah, delirious. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. be braggadocious. I don't want to yeah. be any of these things. I don't want to be arrogant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the when I started just all of a sudden doing that, bro. Yeah. And I'm telling you, people who are listening may not believe this, may think it's a bunch of hocus pocus BS, but I'm just talking about what helped my life. Yeah. I started... A couple months ago on the podcast, I said, I'm going to start writing down what I want in life. Yeah. And every day I am, I'm going to end a day with thanks. Yeah. I'm going to end it no matter what happens, no matter mm-hmm. how sucky my days, I'm ending my day with thanks, gratitude, positivity, mm-hmm. speaking. And literally, I can show you. Hold on one second. Give me a second. Supposed to stall, man. <laughs> just looking at, <laughs> he's just looking at the camera. My bad, my bad. Uh, I can just show you, bro. Um, some of the stuff I was writing down, man. I wrote this down. You wrote a lot down. Yeah. I wrote this down. Um, the freak. Where the heck is this stuff at? I just saw it. I think they all look like the same words. Oh yeah, on the on the paper. I wrote this down like a couple months ago, <laughs> like a hundred times. Yeah, I, I saw. You know, so there's like there's like so many things in that booklet. Jesus Christ! That I just I just kept on I just kept on writing it down. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some private stuff. <laughs> I mean, don't, oh, don't go too whoa, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> but my I thing would grow four more inches. <laughs> crazy like, that. like what? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I mean, so yeah. over, but uh, I just started writing this stuff down, man. So that's been the biggest change in my life. Mm. Um, just all the things I started writing down, all yeah. the things that I wanted to start happening. Yeah. So yeah, man, that's that's been really exciting. And for me, it's just about leveraging this opportunity, yeah. leveraging the oppor- you know the blessings God gives me, and just taking advantage of it, man. So just trying to take the show to the next level. Uh, yeah, I mean, I keep going, bro. Yeah, I keep going and. It's like you said, I know it's been, oh, Jesus, Lord, it's been a crazy ride. It like, is. 2018, man, it's been a crazy year. <laughs> like, it really has. Like, you know, starting off the year, you know how many parties we went to? You remember, like, how you, this year? I'm talking to Snapchat, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we started yeah, off the year yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> like, we did. We did. Uh, but it's been like, no, it's been a crazy, like, yeah. just journey. Yeah. Um, How stuff just kind of just changed and we wasn't playing. Like, yeah. prepare for it. 
and how we just, you know, take the blows and yeah. we just and we react. And um, especially seeing you be more positive. Yeah. And I, like I said, like, I have definitely seen a night and day change from when I first met you to you. Yeah. Today. Lord. <laughs> the tell all book. <laughs> the tell all book. <laughs> it's gonna be ridiculous. But um tell all. Yeah, I'm, I think I think it's it's kinda like Turn on the AC for you. Yeah, please, Jesus. I mean, Lord. I mean, you know what I mean? They and Indiana won't complain about it's hot outside when it's eighty seven degrees up there. I said, you know, I said what? I said in Houston, you know how much damage I can do in eighty seven degrees? <laughs> Boys were sweating and <laughs> talking about I need some water every sixteen <laughs> ounces every hour. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but um, it's just crazy to think that all the goals that we had set are either we're heading towards or we already surpass, like surpassed. Yeah. Um, and I know for me that I feel like I also been thinking like ain't nothing to think. Ain't really nothing. To th- I'm turning you like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just been thinking, bro. Uh, working out and thinking is all I've been doing. But um, I feel like God will can happen once you move the hell out the way. Yeah, just literally move out the way. Um, what does that mean? I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> okay. I'm still trying to figure that out like every day because I I know that I want more dependence on Him and. Even when I've been reading Radical. You, have, you haven't read Radical. David Platt's book? David Platt's book. Uh, have I read it? I actually want him on the podcast. Oh, really? Jesus Christ. I have a lot of questions. Okay, I'll work on that. Yeah. I know I people who know him. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> who are you? I know <laughs> people that know him. But uh, yeah, like even with that, it's just been asking like myself, like, you know, you know, it's just how radical I am, you know, with my faith. Um, and how much do I really depend on him and things like that. So it's just it's just been really just kind of, I'm just like uncovering a lot of things that I really just haven't had time to think about because all of the distractions here in Houston, like, it's like my life had a lot of distractions. And now that just Indiana is so much calmer, it's just so much, you know, I know my schedule and, and after work, it's just like my time. So it's just like I can really you know, delve, as they yeah. word, into a, <laughs> into conversation with myself. Yeah. Um, so it's just like, I've just been thinking, it's like, you know, I made this move and I want to really see what God has in store for this move. Yeah. And I don't want myself to get in the way. Like that Devon Franklin, that quote still like remains in my head, you know, majority of the time during the week, during the months, you know. What quote is that? That quote is like, if God, if if at the end of my life, if I was facing God and he tells me, um, this is all I could do in your life because you didn't have any discipline in this area, that mm-hmm. area, or you wouldn't, you know, blah, 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 blah. But if you would have had discipline, this is what I could have done in your life. Yeah. And that could have done is really just like, you know, it keeps me up at night because that could impact another person, a yeah. family, you know, a state country you know it's just like i just really want to reach my full potential yeah as possible um so it's just like that's what i'm just kind of just wrestling with all mm-hmm. the time and i feel like i'm in a good headspace yeah uh but i also want to answer like you know yeah. I, I want you know to see some you know some fruit come from that um so i mean this like this 2018 has been like we like what we we what we described twenty seventeen was just like just that was just madness. Yeah, it was just chaos. Twenty seventeen was chaos. Yeah, and we thought twenty well, twenty eighteen is a transformational year. Yeah, I I do think, um, but I am excited for twenty nineteen. Yeah, um, it's not I'm not ready for this year to be over. I feel yeah. like I have a lot enough to do in yeah. this year. Um, I set new goals for myself, and I'm not gonna give up. And I think our listeners should definitely do the same as well. Um, I just realized, man, we really have one life and we got to make the most out of it. Yeah. You know, we have to. We're supposed to have a fun conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <have a> <laughs> conversation. And that's all good. You know what's interesting? And I can't wait. What do you can't wait? I'm, and I'm a. Are there, gosh, are there new shorts? About. No, these are old. <laughs> okay. 
episode 100, I'm trying to bring in somebody really special. We're yeah. a couple episodes away from that. I'm trying to bring somebody really special. Yeah. But I realized what the theme of this year was. You the think about it. Did you write it down over 100 times? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I realized what it was. It was self-healing. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's what it was. It was self-healing. It was kind of like that story of Humpty Dumpty. Like 2017 was when... You don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> Humpty Dumpty is You know, like 2017 was falling over and just shattering. Like mm-hmm. everything shattering. Your faith, your holiness, yeah, your, sh- all, everything that you crazy. believe, everything that you were for us, 2017 was just that broken, right? Yeah. Just that gone. Yeah. And the house, all the stuff. Yeah. And then 2018 was all the king horses and all the king's men are trying mm-hmm. to put Humpty and Dumpty back together. It's like yeah. all of a sudden, it's like we are slowly putting together the pieces of life, right? Mm-hmm. And part of that's understanding what was off. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I remember you reading that book. What was it called? Uh, the, Jer- the Jeremy Bridges books? Uh, so, Jesus uh, Christ. Something about sins? Uh, subtle sins. Yeah. And you're reading that book and it was like, you're like, I'm learning so much about myself. Yeah. And then Stefan comes on, talks about understanding yourself. Yeah. And then Mary Jo talk, you know, so it was like this idea of like understanding yourself and healing. Mm-hmm. And what I think you've noticed by going to Indiana is by getting away from the noise, you're able to experience healing in your life. Yeah. And you know? I feel like I, I feel like I can also hear God more. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's like it's, things are more clear. It's like, I know I'm in this state. Right now, where I like, I just don't know exactly what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. But it's like I'm okay with that. Yeah. In, in Houston, yeah. I would have been okay with that. It's like seeing the stars in the city. You yeah. can't because of exactly. all the lights, because of all exactly. the things going on. I saw yeah. like th- <laughs> three or four shooting stars. <laughs> it's, it's, That's awesome. There's nothing else to do. With it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think the I think the beauty of the silence, which so many people are afraid of, mm-hmm. social media, television, movies, friends, all these things going on. We are so afraid of the silence, but the beauty of the silence, because in the silence is when we really meet our true selves. Yeah. You know, not around other people, not putting on a facade, you know, not this Photoshop version. No, in the silence, you truly meet yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's when you get to deal with your issues. And I feel like that's what you began to experience in Indiana. Because the dope part about Houston was Houston had a lot of noise for you. Yeah. You know, like you were by yourself watching TV. You had the relationship. You had all the friends. Like yeah. you had all this stuff. Like you had a lot of noise. Not saying noise is bad. Yeah, yeah. You had a lot of noise. Yeah. But I think it's so important for a lot of people, especially people who are hurting, which is, bro, everybody. everybody. I Man, once I tell you this story after the podcast, okay. you wouldn't believe who was affected by our short film. You wouldn't believe it. For real? Random. You would not believe it. Huh. Random. <laughs> Hit you up? Random. Random. You wouldn't believe it. By our short film. Didn't say never said anything about it, but you would never believe it. How'd you find out? They told me. Oh, really? Yeah. That's crazy. It's insane. Yeah. And then from that short film, decided to do, you know, actionable things to get better and it's been much better since. That's amazing. It's ridiculous, yeah. bro. Yeah. You never know who's listening. You yeah. never know who's watching. That's and crazy. You never know who you're impacting. That's like, crazy. It's really, it's it, it like that. Really, just yeah, made my week. That's yeah. really crazy. But bro. you saw the emails from Australia. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it was one. It was one person uh, that DMs from like Turkey or something. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's insane. It really is insane. <laughs> uh, somebody DM me from from some other country as well. Yeah, like, it's it, it's 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 too much. Nah, I, yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why my why my you know request DMs are going up? <laughs> you know? <laughs> like what's going on? That's awesome. Uh, so it's it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. How you have more followers than me though? So what? Huh? How do you? I know what it was. <laughs> Gary 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 didn't do his job. He, I told him to follow you back, and he forgot. So he didn't say your name. Oh, it happens. Yeah. So when everybody went to follow me, a lot of people asked me about where your account. I mean, so it's, said, it's, said, where's Chris's account? What's Chris's it's, account? It's, it's in the bio. So, <laughs> but it wasn't before. Yeah, put, we're not it, at that time. You put it later I'll put on. It in, yeah. yeah, I'll put it in the so bio. I, I think, put both of yeah, in the bio. So I think it was like, that's what happened. Oh, uh, well, yeah. it's in the bio. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah. Um, so, but yeah, that was just funny. Like, so I, was going, I was going through your face. like, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go through our face page. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. But yeah. uh, what were we talking about? Um, it's about hearing your voice, finding yourself. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, I'm excited. Just more more learning, taking the opportunity. I've been 
I read one book, trying to read this other oh, what book. What you read? Radical. I reread oh, Radical. Yeah, 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 David Platt. And book. Uh, man, like that that book just challenges, bro. It challenges so much, man. It's so much. Like like I said, if we can have him on the show, I have a lot of questions. Too many questions, you know. Um, then you just gonna hit the mic. That's nice. I know. My bad. Um, I I got this other book. It's called The Fight for Your Life. I'm not going to explain what it is, but... Have fight, you heard fight for your life? Nope. The Fight for Your Life. Nope. I explain to it. It's kind of... It's rather... I mean, it's about sexual sin. Okay. So, The Fight for Your Life is just kind of regaining your urges. Nah. <laughs> urges. Yeah, urges. Uh, so, I'm excited to read that book. Yeah. Um, Because I'm in the fight for my life, apparently. Um, So, just more things like that going on. Yeah. Uh, Come back to Houston do the podcast for show for show for show for show for show for show so just things like i mean i'm excited bro yeah. the stuff that we have we talked about and you know with with stefan like that playing that out I'm super excited. oh yeah 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 <laughs> it's crazy you know what i mean it's crazy yeah you know what I mean? yeah so like it, whatever whatever we gotta do to get that going yeah you know what i mean you know oh freak Oh, I know what we have to do to get a trademark. It costs money. Like two thousand dollars, huh? You what? Oh, was it two grand? It's less. I saw one was less oh, than two grand. I but it, it might it's different type of trademark. I may have okay. looked at the wrong one. Okay. Are we gonna trademark the roommates or the roommates podcast? I don't want the people to know who I'm coming after. <laughs> what what I'm doing. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. Um so what else? What's going on? I don't know. What I mean, <laughs> what's up with you? <laughs> Still smiling more? You said what? Huh? Still smiling more? Yeah. Why are you uh, smiling so much? Oh my gosh. Huh? So how's that going? <laughs> nah, man, it's cool. <laughs> don't downplay. So, now nah, it's it's been cool, man. I think mm-hmm. um it's been it's been challenging, bro. I'm what? not gonna lie. It's been challenge. It's challenged me. It's challenging. In a good me. way or yeah, in a good way. I think it's a good challenge. There's a lot of things that... You can cut this out. Can... <laughs> <laughs> nah, we good. A lot of things that I didn't know about myself, that that being, you know, in that kind of situation taught me, mm-hmm. you know. Um, some Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's, you know, frustrating. Yeah. But, you know, it's just a, it's just a journey... Um, but dang, I gotta be careful what I say. <laughs> They're listening. <laughs> <laughs> They're listening. <laughs> um, I can honestly say, and I'm curious to your opinion on this. Oh God. Dang, I do not want to say anything crazy. I'm curious to your. Just opinion. text it to me. I'll say something crazy. Um, I feel like a lot of people. Are really bleeding, bro. They're really bleeding. I don't want to take. I don't want to take. I don't want to be too deep because I want to have fun. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of people are really bleeding, and the more I'm getting the opportunity to really get to know a woman on that level, not saying she's like that, mm-hmm. but the more I'm seeing that a lot of people are going through so much that you just you can't even imagine it, and. I just feel like all like I look at people differently now, you know. Like I just look at people differently. Like whatever they put, whatever facade they put, I just don't even. I'm not even phased by it, you know. Like the girl comes in the party with the banging dress and the banging body and this, that, mm-hmm. and you know, all this stuff. That's what Taylor Rooks does when she talks. <laughs> but, <laughs> she does talk like that. <laughs> but uh, when she comes like that, like I'm like, how was your life? You know, I'm like. How was your life really? No, like, man. You know? Like, how was your life really? Like, yeah, don't give me the bull. Yeah, like, like, for, like, no, what do you really go through? Yeah, what's, like, go, like, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. Like, really, what's going on with you? Yeah, like, couples ask that question, like, for real. Yeah. Like, especially new couples. Yeah. And so, for me, it's, I don't know, man, I just, had, I just have a, a newfound empathy for people. Because, man, people just going through a lot, man. It's ridiculous, bro. Yeah. And I... And it's kind of, 
I remember one day I was just sitting back in Lakewood Church and John Gregory was speaking. I was just just astounded yeah. about how many people showed up on a Wednesday night. Yeah. And he was talking about hope. Yeah. And I was literally just looking back, watching how so many people was literally so engaged mm-hmm. because they needed so much hope. That's real. Like people are like you like you said, they're bleeding. Yeah. Like people are going through something yeah. all the time. Yeah. Every day. And it's just like who is there to help them? Yeah. You know, that's why people run to religion. That's why they run to others. So they run to bad devices or things like that because somebody's always going through something. And when you hear the words like, you know, so if you're in a relationship or you are you have a friend or a family member, it's like, you know, you're the only good thing that's going on in my life. It's like that's really hard to just yeah. walk away from. That's yeah. really hard to even swallow. That's yeah. a lot of responsibility. I feel like you have to you take on uh for yourself. And uh it's just it's just hard, man. And I think at the end of the day, like what I have noticed for me and just from most like from people that, you know, I look up and talk to, like Jesus is the only way that can heal. Yeah. Like, yeah. And at least it from what I've seen. Yeah. Um, so it's just like, if that's true, yeah. you know, and we truly believe that, we got to send that message out. Yeah. No. And like I said, like the more, the more I'm seeing what this podcast is for a lot of people, because what, for all the people who are just now tuning in or people who are newer listeners, the podcast is a late night conversation taking you behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. We don't do a lot of pop culture. No. We don't do a lot of, even though we're viral, we have a lot of viral. The I Mary Jo one is going but That's crazy. random, bro. Yeah, like, it's crazy. Yeah, enough. that so, Mary Jo one is really yeah, going insane. So, so though we're going viral for the relationship stuff, like most people come to us because of it. We, yeah. That's what we do probably the least. Yeah. We don't do, like we... We do life. We yeah. do like our, we try to. F- we're figuring this out. Yeah, we're figuring life out. Yeah. We're going through our lives, and a lot of people are doing this by themselves, and a lot of people don't have the space to act like what they're going through is real. Yeah, a lot of people can't do what we're doing. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, especially a lot of men, like, like Stefan told me, he said he was walking down the street. And in Atlanta, like a bunch of guys came up to him and was like, yo, I love what you're doing. I watched it. I went, I was on YouTube. I watched the episode. It was so good for me. Jeez. Like men like going up to him. Random dudes in the you middle of the You talking about our video? Yes, ours. What and so it's so what I started seeing is a lot of people are going through hell. Yeah. But they just have, they're not gonna tell anybody. Because who's gonna be the first one to say, my shit is out of whack. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, who's going to be the first one to say, my life is in chaos? Who's going to be the first one to say, I'm lonely? I'm sad. I wish somebody would talk to me. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to be weak. Nobody wants to be soft. So, so many people are going through hell in isolation. And what our show gives these people is hope. Mm-hmm. It gives them an opportunity to express themselves through our story, mm-hmm. right? It's kind of like the accountability thing, right? Yeah, yeah, in yeah. church, like... Sitting in accountability, like, okay, what, what happened this week? Nobody talks. Yeah. And that one guy's like, yeah, I was on Pornhub. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. someone's like, well, I, I was looked on at this girl. You know what I mean? I looked at this girl in the gym. Yeah. She, she needed some help. I like, <laughs> spot her. <laughs> you know? And then everybody just starts unfolding yeah, and unpacking yeah. what they're going through. And so I feel like that's what our show is helping create. And, I, and just so many... I'm talking about so many people, they don't have that, man. Yeah. Like, bro... It was so funny. I got another story I was going to tell you. But it's just so funny how many people, like, I'm starting to see what's really going on in their lives. Mm-hmm. And it's just, and it's terrible. Yeah. It's just terrible. Yeah. And yeah, man, I just feel like a lot of people need this, man. A lot of people need the hope. A lot of people need the gospel. A lot, But the, but. A lot of times the churches they suck and they're not relevant. You know what yeah. I mean? Like you, they feel like I can't relate to Pastor So and So So and So who's up in here putting on a front, or putting on a show. Yeah. But you know, we just two regular human, not regular, just two men who's just walking through life, figuring yeah. it out. And yeah. people rock with that, man. 
yeah, we have to be that. Yeah. Like, we have to, like, knowing that those guys came up to Stefan and were impacted means that we have a responsibility. We do. And we have to continue our responsibility. Yeah. No matter what the cause, what's the situation. Yeah. Um, that's why I said I'll be back next week. Yeah. Because that responsibility is here and it's real. Yeah. Um, I don't care if it's 10 people. Yeah. You know? But it's something where it's like knowing I like we had that responsibility. Like it's okay to fail. Yeah. It's okay to make mistakes. But we also have to show that we're improving. Yeah. And we're showing that we're actually doing what we're saying. Yeah. Um, and honestly, I'm scared about that. Yeah. You know, I don't want to, you know, create this, what is this, what I'm trying to call it? Like this perfect perfect persona? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah not, yeah, by no means we're uh, perfect, yeah. but like, you know, create that persona and like, you know, this guy won't make mistakes or this yeah. guy, you know, whatever. We will make mistakes, please. Chill, yeah, please. I mean, go don't, go don't listen to past think, episodes. We're, we're not. We're not Tim Tebow. We are. Oh, not Tim definitely. Tebow. We're not Stefan. Uh, no, we're no, not. We're no. not. We're not. So, um, please. so I mean, I'll be in the club. <laughs> I'll be up in the club. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. We have, man. We gotta go out <laughs> for my birthday. Twenty fine. Twenty fine. It's about to be. I said it. Twenty fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh man, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I may pose a picture with my shirt off now. It's ridiculous. So what? So, so here's what's it's getting, interesting. It's getting crazy. It's here's what's interesting about that, I, and I also want to talk to you about that. Here we go. What gave you the confidence to no longer care about what other people think anymore? Hmm. What gave me the confidence? Ooh, I think. good question yeah let me tell you while you're thinking let me talk i had an answer oh go ahead but, <laughs> i think i think um i think when i realized that i get like i've been saying this i give certain people too much power of my life yeah certain people too much like whatever they say kind of matters it gives me my identity mm -hmm. so if i know that person and these people are saying these bad negative things about me I believe that mm -hmm. uh, so when like going to Indiana majority of those people are gone now you know yeah. as far as just like in my head and so yeah. it's kind of like am I going to really believe this like you know now or am I going to actually you know if I want to change go make a change yeah. and actually it really it really like kind of I made, it made me feel good when I actually saw progress my answer is like, oh, okay. Like, in your life? Like, in my, like, just even me, just working. Working out is like a good example. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, losing the weight. Yeah. You know, having clear skin. Yeah. Like, it's ridiculous, yeah. you know. Um, and that was only in like three weeks. Yeah. So it's like, that's how I know that I'm actually striving towards something and feeling good and giving me that confidence and not really caring about what other things because I see me and it's like, man, look at this beard. It's yeah. coming. <laughs> it's coming. So it's like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so... I think that, like, to answer your question, like, you know, rem not saying removing those people, but not giving certain people, you know, and those people change throughout yeah. time of my life. It was one point this person, this person, yada, yada, yada. Not giving those people that kind of power over me and uh, and actually make steps towards making that change I want to want to yeah. see. Yeah, and, and what I was going to say is I, I feel like with you and with a lot of people, going back to another conversation I, I was listening to on Brilliant Idiots, and shout out to Andrew Schultz and shout out Andrew Uncle, Uncle Charlotte. But Uncle. The, <laughs> but what I this girl was talking about plastic surgery. She we talked about with um, my girl Tatiana. And mm -hmm. the girl was saying how she had plastic surgery done. And she said the real in her opinion, a lot of women don't get plastic surgery, not because they don't want to get plastic surgery, but because they don't want to hear what other people are gonna say about them getting plastic surgery. They're more that. concerned about what people will think about them than versus actually going through doing it because of it will make them happy. Gotcha. So instead of being happy, they're they're worried about what other people think. Exactly. Okay. And so I feel like so many people's lives, 
especially women. And I'm not a women's right activist. Please, I'm telling you, ladies, don't be on my side. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> the moment you are and I mess up, you're gonna kill me. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not on your team. I care about. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah. Like <laughs> I'm for real. I want to be honest. A lot of girls send me emails like, "Oh, I love you." Ah. Like, yeah, yes, please, 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 please. Not yet. You get emails, <laughs> huh? Huh? You get emails? We all get no, emails. No, you don't no, check no, them. No, you, no, you say I, I get emails. As in Hafiz. No. You, you got to have Hafiz at the roommates.com email by yourself? What you got? <laughs> we both have emails. <laughs> <We> both have <laughs> emails. <laughs> yeah, you don't check. It came, actually, came, actually came through the, um, the Instagram. Oh. Yeah. And so I call that is all. That the, is that the one that um, I feel like it was having a conversation? Like she, she kept popping up. I feel it was that one. It was one you kept you kept talking to. Oh, I think so. I think so. Mm. And I was like, yo, that's cool, but please. And I'm not saying I'm <laughs> about it. I don't believe in caring about women. I'm just saying I believe in helping all humans. I'm a man. I'm a naturally gravitate towards men. I just want people to think I'm a women's right activist when I'm not. And then they, then they get disappointed. Anyway, mm-hmm. I guess I, I do care about women's rights. Let's let's clarify <laughs> that. <laughs> What's happening right now? But pick a team, God dang it. Whatever. I'm just saying I'm just not one of, I'm not a feminist. Let's just make that clear. I yeah. want people to think I'm this freaking feminist guy. But it bothers me that women can't be themselves. Not I feel really a lot can. of women, their 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 lives are based upon what other people think. Yeah, and that pisses me off. Yeah. It's like just be free. If you want to burp, burp. If you want to play in the mud, play in the mud. Like be yourself. I want women to be free to be themselves. Mm-hmm. I just hate. I, it really bothers me the unhealthy societal pressures that we put on women and that women put on each other. Because let's, yeah. let's make it clear, you guys yeah. put it on each other. Yeah, and it and it. it and um, it isn't not inhibits them, but it limits them mm-hmm. for being who they feel called to be. Yeah, and I say that because also with you, I feel like a lot of things you do is not because what Bilo wants to do. A lot of times it's like, oh, what are people gonna think? Mm-hmm. I don't want this shirt because people might think I'm bringing too much attention. I don't want to take this kind of picture. People are gonna think I'm bringing too much attention. Like, yeah, that's true. That's you know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's it's more so like being free, like I'm me. And I really, and I feel like I'm slowly doing that. Yeah. I've been posting more stories Duh. of myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Look at what God created. <laughs> like, so I feel like cause I, I definitely used to think like that all the yeah. time. Like I don't wanna post these kind of pictures just because yeah. like somebody's gonna think, Oh, I'm just another light skinned guy that, yeah. you know, that's a super player or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um or he's super conceited, et cetera, yeah, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. So I purposely don't do things mm-hmm. so I can not have that negative stereotype. Exactly. Um, but like you said, bump all that. Yeah. Like, man, if I want to yeah. do something, yeah. I have the freedom to do you something. Do. You do. You know, and I feel like I have to stop worrying about what other people think exactly. and really just like, man, do what makes me happy. Exactly. And that goes for everybody. I, and Because I, like I said, I feel a lot better about myself. Yeah. Like, I really do. Yeah. Um, I feel, I feel like I have a glow. <laughs> the, the glow is real. <laughs> um, so I mean, I agree, bro. Like, yeah. do what you do what you want, and then yeah. also, man. Like, I felt like I was talking to an old friend of mine, and like we was we was talking, and an old friend from high school, yeah. and she was like, "You made the decision for your dad, not for yourself." And she was like, "Honestly, this is not what you're supposed to be doing." Like, you need to do what you want to do. And I, it kind of rocked me because mm. I wasn't expecting the answer. Yeah. And um, but I thought to myself, like, there's been, there's been times where God has put something, like a big decision in my life where I knew the answer was automatically no or yes. Yeah. When my dad asked me um, to work for him, yeah. it was an automatic yes. Yeah. Like, it, I didn't even really think about it. Yeah. Like, um, so I didn't feel like that was the truth, yeah. you know. I feel like at that time, this period point of time, I'm supposed to be in Indiana right now. Yeah. I don't know why, yeah, but I'm supposed to be there. Yeah. Um, and I feel extremely comfortable in that decision. Yeah. And I feel like people let other people make their decisions for them. Yeah. Like you know, especially like you know, certain families let them mm-hmm. guide them, go do that. Yeah. You know, yeah. rather than actually doing something what you like you want to do because mm-hmm. my thing is like I said one of my biggest fears is not living out my purpose yeah if I would have you know daggum did what my dad wanted me to do in, from the beginning of college was petroleum engineer yeah 
look at, do I look like a patrol? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, what? like, are you yeah. kidding me right now? Yeah. Uh, so it's like, I wouldn't have met the people I would have met because I had to study because like, I don't like science. I'm not smart like that. Not for, oh, the sun went down. I got kind of darker. Yeah. I got a tan. You notice the tan? Oh, that's what that is. That's what that is, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's helpful color, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, so yeah, I feel like you can't you can't let society, you can't let family, you can't let friends really control who you are because you, we have one life. Yeah. And do what makes you feel good for real. Like yeah. because it's a lot of stuff that can take away our happiness and we don't need those things to take out take away our happiness. I feel like we're like I'm learning that. I think you already knew like knew that. Um and cuz we said it's a lot of darkness in this world, a lot of stuff that's going to come. And we have to be ready and we have to be prepared for um, to really be the leaders that we're called to be. Um, but also, we got to we gotta live in our truth and we got to be free as well. Awesome. <laughs> I'm Eight, back. I got that one up. Got that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think the sun is setting. The sun is definitely setting. I'm sorry. Anything um, Anything else you want to get off the chest? Um, no, nah, man. Like, at least I have a lot of... Like spiritual conversations that yeah. I want to do. Um, we'll have those. Uh, I have a lot of. I don't know. Yeah. I'm excited about the stuff that's coming up. Yeah. Um, roommate season is back. Roommate season is back for <laughs> real. Uh, so I mean, I'm I'm just really excited. Yeah. Honestly, what's 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 happening? Uh, what's going on in my personal life? Yeah. So, I mean, what about you? Anything? Any final thoughts? You cussed me out on the phone. Hafiz cussed me out on the phone oh my when I gosh. first moved down there. Y'all know that now. Behind the scenes, roommates, Hafiz got on my head. He no. literally asked me, do you want this? <laughs> I needed that, though. I needed that. I needed that. I appreciate that, Hafiz. No, I think... What it doesn't kill you, you make you stronger. You said it perfectly, man. Just keep fighting. Keep fighting for joy. Keep fighting for peace. Keep fighting for purpose. And that's what we're here for. Take you on that journey to becoming whoever God made you to be. Yeah. We're here, we're here for you guys, man. We're here for you. Yeah. Stop emailing half feet only. <laughs> it's really rude and disrespectful. <laughs> Why don't you ever check them? Man, you know, bro, know what my problem is? What? My phone is, like, I have three emails yeah. linked to my phone. Okay. 20,000 unread emails. That's the problem. <laughs> All right. Before, before <laughs> we reach pitch black darkness, yep. guys, as usual... Thank you guys so much for checking us out and supporting. We got some heat coming for you the next couple of weeks, so stay yes, tuned. Yes, 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 yes. Make sure you share, 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 comment, and all that good stuff. And I'm back, baby. As I said at the beginning of the podcast, is your boy Hafiz. Chris is the show, but I may change my name to Bigo. So get ready. I haven't decided. <laughs> and we are I actually roommates. want to go by Bigo now. So. And we're joined by Bilo. Hey! Bilo is here with the roommates, guys. Thank you so much. All the listeners around the world continue to share, share, yes, share, yes, comment, yes. comment, comment. We're the roommates and we're out. <laughs>